All right, so I want to do a fast video uh, on a new sensation on the internet that just came out, and uh, it's about this lady, about a Rene Bach. If you ever heard for her, or actually lately, if you heard for this lady. Um, and I've seen this article in a Yahoo under um, listed as uh, supremacy on the rise, white supremacy on the rise. I'm going to go here and I'm going to scroll down and uh, she is right there in the media. She's right there in the news. Uh, This is actually very, very important news for me because her family was involved in this stuff. Uh, and this basically sets me into a really shit category. I got nothing to do with it. Possibly. Could. White supremacy at its peak, HBO Max faces backlash over savior complex documentary about the white woman. Um, they say that on the internet there has been thousands of children dead. Uh, Ugandan children. She impersonated a doctor, yes, she did. As I stated, she was involved in MKUltra. Uh, she, based on my knowledge, is coming from like a middle-class family in the United States. Uh, based on my knowledge, she has a sister. Uh, she flirted with me during MKUltra, what her intentions were. I do not know uh, whether they were those are real or they were not real. Uh, it's stuff like this that way too often have turned into a total twist of circumstances due to which, in this case, if I wouldn't point out, it would be just enough that I would not live to tell what I have to tell today, or it would be just enough for me not to see the news. And somebody eventually, after labeling her as a death, which eventually this is the case, uh, they refer to her as a, as a white death in Africa. I just saw this movie a video about also a man who was involved in MK Ultra, now, a black guy. Um, and it's already enough that somebody paints me on a picture next to her. American clinic in Uganda goes terribly wrong. Uh, and my existence basically would be destined, sentenced to, uh, you know, to hell, basically. I don't know what to say. I want you to know I got nothing to do with this woman or ever had anything to do with it. Quite contrary, it's nothing more than what she uh, produced. Uh, she was not even a medical practitioner. She was not even a nurse. She was a nobody. I remember her. She did some 
uh, examinations through the internet. Uh, sometimes, like in 2010, she started to do some examinations through the internet and shit. Uh, she was playing like a Barbie over there um, with some other ladies. There were some other white ladies too. Uh, the whole thing was uh, crazy stuff. Um, acting like she is like acting like uh, she's doing something like she's responsible and so on. Um, and then the only thing I'm gonna stress out to you is in 2015. Joe Biden was like, things are going terribly wrong, okay? Things are going terribly wrong. It appears that Joe Biden was the one running this stuff. So we have to help. There is things that are going terribly wrong here, and so we have to help. And so it, was, it appeared to me that it was Joe Biden in 2015 that uh, basically American government wanted to increase uh, ratio of the success versus failure. And so what he did was, I have no idea what he did. Joe, what have, they, what have you done? Did you deliver the real physicians to this facility? Or you have uh, trained them more? Or you supplied with better medications? Or what exactly have you done to bail her out of this nightmare? which was in 2018, 2019, and so on, 2020, was presented to me as uh, that eventually the numbers after upon examination of physicians will prove that uh, it's the numbers are on her side, but because of the, you know, because of what? Because of the white skin, because of what? I got nothing to do with any of this stuff. I have absolutely nothing to do with it. My neighbor here with a high school and, I don't know, three years more for whatever, mechanic or whatever, he was a doctor. I had other two neighbors here with a high school that were doctors. My mom was a doctor. Everybody was a, a doctor in my case, because it was the U.S. government that, through Slovenian physicians, a police officers claimed were doctors. A police officers from Novo Mesto police station claimed to me knew as much as physicians as doctors. Doctors involved in this shit claimed that police officers know as much as doctors, as physicians. I was a victim of a fake medical malpractice, heavy fake medical malpractice. I was a victim of the politicians such as Joe Biden, such as Donald Trump, that knew just as much as physicians, as doctors, smuggled into medical facility across the USA to have doctors basically examine me, also engage in medical malpractice. I have no idea what went on inside of this medical facilities with so many researches done on me with a daughter of Vladimir Putin injecting me whenever delivered to the Moscow, private, in a private clinic, in a private place, apart from everybody, Sergei Shoigu enforcing injections at what became her place of work, past physicians and so on. He was a doctor. I was a victim of this stuff. So that's how much I have to do with this stuff. If you're not a physician, you should never ever practice medical work. She was not even a medical from 
a medical field from medical profession. This is a girl that is from a mid class, which I would even say with her sister and with a family that I observed. You know what it say? Poverty breeds poverty. In America, there is people that treat people with the silver. In America, there is moms that know better than doctors. In America, it's not about even home recipes, dude. It's where the Christ will heal you from uncurable disease. In Africa, a urine with engine oil and Red Bull mixed with a Red Bull was an answer to AIDS. In some documentary they had me where I also participated, I saw online stuff like this. Stuff like this is what went on. What I state about America is America had and has a poor background. There's a lot of poverty in America alone. And that's probably about the only benefit for the benefit that talks to this lady that I assume not because she would be evil or something like this, not because she would want to cause harm somebody, but it's exactly what I stated. She did. She thought that she's going to make a difference, that a goodwill uh Good intentions are enough, in fact, to practice as a physician, as a doctor, which is really, really, really whacked, insane, crazy. Uh, it's like career jump, jump starter, uh, and it could potentially serve because of what I stated earlier. It's when it started to take place that, that it started to get hot, that they realized that they fucked up everything it was actually even earlier. It was like in 2014, 2013, things started to get like really, really shitty, uh, hot for them realizing the disaster that started to appear in front of their eyes and because of my case because i was because she was involved in this stuff they had me over there and so on uh it appears that people responsible people that were running this show like joe biden came under the fire and so they spit it up the process to look the whole thing like you basically wrap it up and statistic wise uh would even prove that she did not uh you know cause harm and that's you know when it comes to the white guilt or something like this i don't want to have nothing to do with this stuff if that's what you want to do you, you, you want to prove some kind of a stuff like this don't count on me It's exactly what I stated the case is. Even good intentions in such case become a subject to malpractice uh, knowingly. She definitely not posed as a doctor, that I will tell you. At least not beginning of 2015, 100% not. If she wears something white, that still doesn't mean that she was 
posing as a doctor because you have to have written down a doctor and that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. In respect to now the facility itself that I remember. Um, <laughs> what kind of a language skills are in U Uganda when it comes to, you know, this kind of, you know, any help is better than no help, basically. Sometimes, you know, if you have a, such a high poverty index and so on. Uh, but still, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say to you that uh, even as a physician, even as a doctor, even as somebody with a, with a physician, as a doctoral license that you are, that you're practicing, and you have a good rep, let's say that you have established reputation for yourself, unless you are insane, you never ever should practice absolutely anywhere in the world. And even more sensitive to this issue are countries that are subject to colonialism, to colonial past, such as the countries located in an African continent without a total approval of the local government. If you don't even have a doctoral license, let's say that you are a nurse with university degree, you're taking chance, and this is as close as it gets to a medical professional and ratio-wise and physician, that no physician, no doctor will ever back you up. And you have absolutely nothing, basically, here. And you went out there and, and started to run some kind of a private clinic and so on. So that's the only relationship that I have to do with it. It's the only thing I want to stress about this stuff. Uh, setting flirt on a side. Her flirt with me. Being drugged up, nothing more than hijacked. Traffic to Africa. Drugged up and have somebody flirt with me uh i she claimed that she's going to improve standing about me that people got about me the fuck are you talking about you're going to improve the standing about the person that is hijacked trafficked whose life is basically destroyed in eyes of the people about what people think This lady is dangerous. From my perspective, she should undergo a serious health evaluation. I'm not insane. I know what it means to be drugged up, hijacked, and due to poverty of people in Africa, what exactly is what she interpreted to me, this good standing is, the people were not capable to discern between the person that was drugged up and between the person that is coming from a normal circumstance, it's a real he. She obviously has some moral problems. This is not due to ignorance. Uh, this is not due to not knowing, but it's some malicious content that I found with this lady. So I think that she should be seriously examined by some psychiatrist actually board of psychiatrists to get to the bottom of what exactly she is in, into yes there have been a lot of children dead there are different numbers posted out there some people claim as many as 1800 some people says thousands so i i had i gave you my in and out i have absolutely nothing to do with her nor with Joe Biden, with their whereabouts, wherever they did, whatever they saw, or what, how they saw, what they were doing. They were the blunders. The people, according to my observation, 
closer to the mental illness, insanity, completely insane, if not criminally insane, which I already have indicated were and are. I absolutely have nothing to do with any of this stuff here. Nothing to the stuff like this. They further have me on the show, like the lady that you see right there. And this is why I believe that this is, I believe even more that this is malicious attempt to misrepresent me. As per my having absolutely anything to do with it, they gave her a very good background on how to present herself. Uh, there supposedly is a jail that is threatening her and stuff. Essentially, like a U.S. citizen with no medical training set up a medical. And so, as for myself, as far as myself, due to this kind of circumstances, I'm completely distancing myself from my being victim of British fascism, colonialism, of American slavery, Nazism issues. That's basically all I have to say about it. You don't hide behind some Eastern European. You don't hide your face behind a victim whom you have drugged up, trafficked to Africa, and are trying to misrepresent through some miserable circumstances like this, in which thousands of children were basically, whatever you want to say, maybe, I certainly hope, detailed examination about her whereabouts in Africa is going to prove, uh, there were like three young women inside in there, and they also got a doctors in there too. I remember that too. What is it now? We don't have the internet on the boat. Just like the rest of the people on, did you see here on a YouTube and everywhere in the news in the media? I am distancing from her. I have absolutely nothing to, to do with her. I am condemning her uh, with the only predisposition, with the only positive in her that I would see. Uh, this is not how you do the white guilt wash. Uh, especially involving somebody like myself in it. This is not how you do that stuff, honey. This is not what you're going to do to me. I share with a YouTube community with everybody out there exactly the same views as to what they, they exercise their view on her. I don't, ha I don't know, I don't know what, what, what else to say about this stuff. I'm shocked. I just saw this news. Uh, I feel fortunate that I saw her because if I wouldn't see the news like this, if I would know the news like this even existed, if I would die earlier, pass away, be killed, whatever, I would not even have ability to comment this news. This is insane. Now, this piece of is Renee Bach. And Renee Bach decided to raise money through donations and go to Uganda. A butcher of Uganda is getting a da 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 da. This guy was involved in MK Ultra. This family where he is at, I was there in Africa. Whatever that is, um. All right, so we are here in Accra, 
in Ghana. This YouTuber uh, this was is involved. This my first in time coming to Accra. Uh, just wanted to share with people and show people how hospitable uh, the people in Africa are. Uh, this is my ninth or tenth country I've been to, and it's always. I don't necessarily share his opinion. I don't know anything about what he means. I, I haven't seen this video, but when people say Africans don't like black Americans and this and that, uh, this guy also needs to come down. This racial tensions are going too far with it. Alexis here, uh, you if too? you make money uh, through the YouTube, that's cool. But, uh, you know, this case, this MK Ultra case, this is definitely not a success for anybody. Uh, this is basically... Stuff that went on for way too long, and trust me, I'm not the one who wanted to have my life ruined. So it could be a politicians, all kinds of clowns uh, that took advantage of it uh, and shaped the world according to their needs. I was less than a slave in this whole ordeal, uh, appreciated less than an ant. Uh, they left me with nothing, not even the right to accept donations or get any kind of online earning, any kind of ads, anything wasted me more than half a century of life and the whole thing as i stated started with not medical malpractice but the use of injections they played with growth hormone development hormone all kinds of issues involving it beginning my age of six months in this world so that i would fall into some pocket of of issues like i stressed out uh, uh, just because somebody delivered me there, somebody had me around there, because I was driven literally insane throughout this process. Literally through United Nations, Amnesty International, the most, the most guilty for everything was Amnesty International. does not cross my mind i am distancing myself from her i have absolutely nothing to do with it uh, i don't know how they are going to respond to this stuff uh if she performed more evil than good she should be incarcerated jailed uh, together with Joe Biden and others, uh, if Joe Biden managed to save the situation, save the day by creating rather a positive outcome somehow out of disaster, uh, I deem that her intentions, initial intentions, that she was not uh evil-minded that she was not out there to cause harm to the people in africa i believe that she wanted to cause harm to me she definitely did she definitely misrepresented herself her views on me with also this newscast here which politically through the lawyers through the attorneys properly gave her a background like on how to defend herself publicly. But I still believe that she did not have bad intentions when she got herself into this uh, in respect to black people. That she is not a racist. I don't believe that she went in it with bad intentions. Uh, she went in it uh, to do the stuff for which she was not qualified. She did not have a practical part, which is required in a medical field to handle the stress. Uh, 
coordinate one with the knowledge so that you can perform that average, expected average. And so you don't fall into the bracket of a physician which is malpracticing or, or is even criminal. Uh, or other than, like I said, average or above. I don't know what else I would say to this stuff. I don't think that she is the she went in it to hurt people. I'm pretty sure that she did not. Uh, but she took the route that I condemn because of other people. I said earlier, poverty breeds poverty in the United States of America is a lot of kids like this that just are just like a majority of them, they turn out to be incredibly smart, incredibly successful in life. Uh, they become entrepreneurs. They become um, successful at running their own businesses, companies. Uh, America is an entrepreneurial country, but we're talking about the medical field, unfortunately about the human lives lost. Uh, and I don't want to be in absolutely any way seen on the picture as such, anywhere near with this issue here. And a second thing is, especially because also because of what was done to me. And the second thing is, I want to discourage young Americans and other people, whatever it is that you are in Europe or whatever it is that you are, or in Asia, whatever it is that you are, from attempting to do anything like this, going on your own and try, try out something at a crazy adventure like this. Uh, I see the internet is criminality, by the way, it exploded. You can see the people performing Botox injections to, you know, without any kind of a medical licenses, absolutely anything posing as a health professional. So I condemn this kind of stuff as much as I possibly can. But no, I don't think that she did this with a mal intentions, with idea to harm uh, her presence. Probably, probably, I would say, even did better than no presence in that part of Uganda. You know, at least there was 3,600 children, they say they were saved. Uh, we don't know anything about the background, the circumstances of, of how, where this took place. Uh, her crazy presence, disaster that she commenced, eventually delivered to real doctors, physicians to that camp. I was in that camp. Uh, they did have a real physicians, real doctors, at least when I was there. So whether they came to inspect about basically what went on uh, or what, what the situation was, uh, I hope, I just hope that Joe Biden didn't, didn't screw it up totally. I don't know. This is disaster, basically, but it's got absolutely nothing other to do with me other than I was trafficked, uh, basically hijacked, drugged up, trafficked to this place, and these people pose next to me. That's all there is, and I don't want to have absolutely anything to do with it. How is it is? Don't try to misrepresent stuff.